it falls apart. Finger bang that subscribe button. <laughs> Didn't even budge. What is going on here? I'm up in a great morning, afternoon, even where it was this video. Welcome back to the channel. And as you can tell from the title of this video, we have the truck loaded, loaded, loaded. We are going to Michael's right now. Or Mike, the guy with the uh, F350, you already know the deal. Um, we have the jack in the back of my truck, the lift kit, um, we have the spacers, every, the controller, and everything. We have everything. Um, and we're actually headed to his house right now to try and wrap up this lift kit. We have an appointment tomorrow with the alignment shop and getting our tires and everything mounted and balanced. So it's going to be pretty nice. Uh, we're going to be slapping, like I said, the 37 little truck wraps. I'll show you a picture of them when I get there. Uh, they're at Michael's house right now. But um, yeah, I'll pick you guys right back up as soon as we get to Mike's and start tearing this thing down. Peace. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen. We have the parts all laid out. We have the boxes. I'm about to unbox real quick for you. Double control arms, three inch leveling kit. Don't know if I'm gonna put it on yet. We're gonna see how the angles look with the control arms, but here she is, nice and low to the ground. And we have our four, not the 375s, but we still have trail grapplers, brand new. Still got the nippies on there. Oh my gosh, 37s, gonna look amazing. Oh yes, should we uh, take the blocks out? Or don't even put them in? Uh, drop a comment down below what you think. All right, got everything laid out. About to get copyrighted. No, I'm just kidding. Mike got new 48s on this Umarol. <laughs> I mean, look at that thing towering over him. But we're about to start getting ready on this. It's not going to be really an installation to do it yourself, step by step video. I'm just going to kind of document a little bit, a uh, little bit of what we're doing, and then probably try and go get some dinner because it literally says installation time two hours. So that's honestly not bad. I knew two-wheel drive lifts aren't that bad. It's basically you just undo everything from the stock suspension with the spindle pop the new spindle on replace all that and then we got a little extra time for the upper control arms obviously and then the uh, level if we stack it but um it should be pretty simple longest part is probably gonna be doing the brake lines and the rear blocks so let's go ahead and start tearing it down keep sucking raccoon eyes <laughs> All right, we got the whole front right side done, but just pop the Freedom Off-Road control arm up there. Uh, looks pretty nice. Can't wait to slap this coil over in there from Fox. It's gonna be pretty nice. It's gonna ride amazing, I think so. So, so, so let me stop you. I have All a right. good idea. All right. We should just install this, which is seven inches, and not worry about the lift spacer. So that don't worry have. about the nine? No, like you don't, it doesn't need to be a 10, just seven. I think we do need to install the nine. Oh my god! All right, get the get the level, get the level. All right, all right. All right. It's your de it, it's it's your death, not mine. You're right. It's plenty of room. I think it'll work perfectly. I mean, who doesn't want an extra three inches in their life? <laughs> three inches goes up a long way. <laughs> Just do it. it. Do it. Do it. Fall, <laughs> falls apart. <laughs> Didn't even budge. We gotta cut the exhaust off. Please don't. Remy, what do you think? Good answer. Good that answer. <laughs> that thing is gonna ride like a Cadillac. So we're, we're about to go, we're about to go. I look like I'm a fucking 16 year old. <laughs> hey, grab those decoys <laughs> and throw them in the bed. Yo, the llama's like spot on still. Yeah, Wait, hold on, this, this side's bowing in, I ain't gonna lie. Monster truck. I'm getting the stalls over my hacking exhaust off. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> hey, he, he said it. Go ahead. Cut the exhaust. Stop being scared. Alright. And we ain't gonna do nothing but remote start it. We ain't we ain't gonna get it, we're gonna get a surprise. Yeah. Is it safe to drive without exhaust? <laughs> no, 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 don't cut it. Just kidding, cut it. Half step favor by doing this. We'll be doing an injustice not to take this off. <laughs> hey, honestly, straight pipes all the way back better than a Borla because it's still not going to be that deep. And it's not $1,000. The Borla is literally fucking $1,000. I literally had a Borla. What are you doing down there? Take it off. What are you doing? We're about to make it a clap -a. A clap way. We're going to die from time marks. Shut up. I hope it sounds good. Really ready 
for takeoff. <laughs> Got my airplane wings out in the back. Mmm. Looking mint. Fucking raccoon in the trees. <laughs> you can't see? Look how dirty this piece of Man, shit. This is stupid. <laughs> yeah. Who put a bug on my grill? <laughs> All right, we got the uh, rear tires off. Installing the spacers real quick, and then we're gonna be doing the black. Ah! And the uh, Fox shocks on the rear. Uh, we had enough of the busted. Two box, but yo, this salami is so fucked. It is uh, gonna be scary even trying to make it to the shop tomorrow, but we're gonna install these blocks real quick and I'll probably catch you in the morning. All right, it is the next day and uh, we already dropped off the truck uh, with the rear blocks, obviously. Surprised we didn't die on the way there. I mean, that thing is like terribly out of the line, but uh, I think it's gonna ride really smooth, the new tires and everything. I called the shop. Apparently, it's gonna be done real soon, so we're heading up that way right now. Uh, drove by, waited around in town after we had dropped it off two hours, which basically would have been the time that it should have been done. Dropped it off at 11. I was assuming it would be done at like 12.30 or so. Came by, still sitting outside, so I came in there and kind of showed my ass a little bit. I was kind of upset because I got somewhere to be tonight, and uh, it wasn't even done. So anyways, called them just now, and they said the tires are done. It's on the alignment rack probably 30 minutes ago, so. Realistically, it should be done soon. So we're gonna head up there now and hopefully I can give you guys a nice little review. Finally, about damn time. Go ahead. What do you got to say about that service that we just had, man? A1. It's April 1st. <laughs> What is going on it is the next day again, a uh, little three day video, but we are in Georgetown now. Um, as you can see, the truck is a lot taller. Uh, sitting on the seven inch Fox coilover suspension with the Freedom Upper Control Arm, Freedom Offer Upper Control Arms. Now these do have an adjustable spanner wrench down here if you wanna raise it or stiffen the uh, suspension and a dampening ring in the middle um, but yeah, couldn't do the three inch level. It would have been just too insane. And the uppers do not hit the aftermarket coilovers. So, and they're pretty good angle right now. They're actually uh, really good, to be honest. So, yeah, this is a tool drive, um, seven inch lift kit. These are four and a half inch uh, lift uh, spindles. And then the coilover itself is like a six and a half and then I'm pretty sure if you raise it, um, you get more lift from it. But it comes with five inch blocks, which we installed on the rear, and it still is. I could get the measuring uh, with the Fox Fox Performance Series shocks on the rear. But um, yeah, so we installed the rear blocks, five inch from Max Track on both sides, obviously. And it still has a slight difference to it if you look at it from a side angle. Um, I'm gonna get the truck into a location here in a second and I can just you know get some b-roll for you guys But it does kind of look like it's leaning slightly, but uh, No scrubbing actually with these 37s on the stock wheels these have a hundred or one and a half inch wheel spacers on it And I think it has the Perfect amount of stance, but I am about six foot and mirror comes to dang near my head so pretty big a uh, big big difference of what it was earlier especially being a tool drive it was super low like the hood was probably right i swear the hood was probably right there man but it looks really really clean um especially being all blacked out with the tent the new visors and the little billet antenna it's just list the little details people uh, this thing turned out really really clean uh, it's gonna be a perfect little summer rig for us and then, you know, after we make some money over the summer, probably get a little set up and keep these on the side just for whenever we want to have that good ride quality. This thing rides and drives still 
flawlessly. It's actually really dirty. We got tire shine marks everywhere. So we're probably gonna try and hit up a little car wash today, but yeah, I got the Fox shocks everywhere. The nipples still on the tires after a, probably like a 220 mile trip uh, down here to Georgetown. But yeah, the stance, pretty good with these one and a half inch wheel spacers. But um, I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. We did actually cut off the exhaust as well. Super simple install. All you gotta do is just take off. All you have to do is just take off the rim cap, yep. and the hub cap, and all the little screws around it. Yeah, look at Mavis Tire in Batesburg, Leesville, y'all. Look at that. Literally waited five hours for my damn truck to be done, and then I get here. Didn't even expect it because I was just so pissed off and ready to go home. Didn't even inspect it. Literally scratched the shit out of my wheels. But it is what it is. I'll never do business with you guys again. If you're watching this, screw you. But uh, yeah, no scrubbing. Really surprised, actually. Um, all in all, it's, it's a good looking truck now? Yeah. All right. She likes it just because of the steps and the massaging seats. That's the only reason I like it. And the heated seats, and the heat, and the AC. Yeah, because my truck, my last truck didn't have nothing. It was just a wagon on wheels. It was literally a wagon on wheels. But, uh, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video's video. If you did, like and finger bang that subscribe button. Finger bang that subscribe button. I already know. <laughs> Look at all these bugs. I'll They're catch you next time. I need the ice and cream. Kick a shit in the car, Billy Jean. Saying, gang, come with a glass of beans. I be high and I'm fine on the scene. Money bulging and buzz out of jeans. Man, I need me a fat ass squeeze. Hold a piggy, I'm sipping my lean. And baby, it is what it seems. I'm on a whole nother level for sure. It may make like I'm hitting the wet elbow. They be snitching and bitching, I know that they told. They be breaking the cold, man, it's all about the bro. But I'm not in the game, I can't fuck with the hoes. When I hop on the stage, they be ripping my clothes. We gon' fucking record and I'm not gon' expose. This is a letter that I never wrote. Please believe me, baby. Get on your knees and pay me. Perking the attic, I'm faded. Call my mama and tell her I made it. On the whole level, I'm turned super sane. Better crank the booth up just to hear what I'm saying.